Hi everybody, I am the teacher Alberto Maria Cattaneo. I am a postdoctoral researcher of SLU in the Chemical Ecology Unit. My project entitled Control of Apple Pest Insects with Fruit and Yeast Odorants target the functional characterization of olfactory receptors of different pests of apple. Functional characterization is the identification of ligands among odorants these insects find in their environment from fruits, from males, from females in general, uh, in order to figure out which ligands are active on specific types of receptor. The target is uh, the assessment of mating disruption techniques in the future. But first, we have to figure out which receptors are active to which compounds. To do that, we functionally express this receptor in a proper platform, so something transgenic heterologous in which we move these receptors. This platform is Drosophila melanogaster. Why? Because Drosophila is very well known. We have a long dating knowledge of the genome of Drosophila melanogaster. These insects help us to figure out which compounds bind which receptors by giving us its neurons. So what we do is just taking coding sequences of this receptor and expressing these coding sequences in the neurons of Drosophila melanogaster. But before to do that, we have to undertake a long procedure to target the expression of these particular genes of apple pests within the receptor neurons of Drosophila melanogaster. Let's see how it goes. It is important to distinguish males from females. On the left you find males, on the right you find females and also to distinguish females from virgin and not virgin. Down on the right you find a virgin female. After selection, insects are crossed by simply combining males and virgin females into the same vial for a couple of days. After mating, females will be in the food provided in the bottom of the vial. Larvae will hatch from eggs so soon after they will start feeding, they will grow and they will pupate, as you can see over here. In the middle you see a pupae which is darker. It means that an adult is about to be ready. Soon this adult will emerge. This adult and all the other adults will be selected based on their phenotypic features. Very few insects are selected based on their phenotype. For instance, in this case, we selected the insect on the right based on uh, its uh, red eyes, curly wings, and uh, some other little features like short and bristle hairs. Further crosses will be performed based on the genetic features of our insects. In order to be able to have proper crosses with proper genetic features. After crossings, females will be selected to be subjected to single sensilo recordings. The motivation by which we choose females is because of several phenotypic features to our advantages, like bigger dimensions, which make it easier to manipulate the insect and also bigger antennas and softer sensilla for recordings. In this example, we have Drosophila Suzukii OR69A gene expressed in the sensilla of this insect. Sensilla will be patched by single sensilla recordings. Several compounds will be tested on this receptor. 